Good evening everybody, I'm Fictional Crystals and let's talk about the temple. I just felt like talking about some stuff about the temple, so let's take a look. In Buddy's book, you can see some concept art for the temple. In the concept art, it having gems is clearer. Although a few of them have fallen off, the temple originally had eight arms. You can see bits of the fallen off arms in the sand. The temple has curly hair, just like Rose had. Except it is shorter like 80s amethyst, pearls, or rubies here. The temple has two faces, similar to Alexandrite's. The temple has plump lips like rose, amethyst, or sapphire, and a pointy nose like pearl. The temple has gems in the same places as sapphire, amethyst, rose, and pearl. Ruby's gem would be there too, but that hand fell off. In one of the concept sketches from Steven Universe's Art and Origins book, you can still see Ruby's gem and that hand on the temple, but instead of being called the Crystal Temple in this page of the book, it's called the Obsidian Temple. Whether a gem be singular or a fusion, they have a name corresponding with their gem type. Maybe the gem the temple is based off of is an obsidian, or at least it was going to be in the concept sketches. In the pilot episode of Steven Universe, Ruby's gem is visible on the temple, or as it was called back then, the Crystal Palace. Ruby and Sapphire's gems in the pilot episode are switched. In the actual show, Ruby's gem's on the left hand and Sapphire's is on the right. In the pilot episode, its gems are also all in colour, and the colours do match up with Rose, Amethyst, Pearl, Ruby, and Sapphire. The temple is quite obviously modelled after a fusion of the Crystal Gems. Garnet, Amethyst, Pearl, and Rose slash Steven. There's more evidence backing this from Ronaldo's book Keep Beach City Weird. Giant Woman from the Sea. Over 200 years ago, Mayor Dewey's great 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 grandfather William Dewey and his first mate buddy set out to find unexplored land. What they found instead was peril. Disastrous weather, towering waves, and perhaps worst of all, a sea monster. But lo, they were saved by a magical giant woman from the sea. She gently placed Dewey down on the shore and that's where William Dewey decided to build Beach City. Nobody knows where the Scottish came from, but some say that the cliffside above Stephen's house bears her visage, probably no connection. But just last year, our shores were visited by yet another Another giant woman from the sea. She totally demolished what seemed to be a very promising seaside gym that Stephen and his dad had set up. Could this be the other giant woman's evil twin sister or her evil twin granddaughter? I hope they meet one day and battle it out. And then maybe I can ride around in one of their giant hands and be a super cool sidekick. The giant woman he talks about on the last page is of course Sugalite, but he's certainly drawing connections between the temple and other fusions, particularly the one from Historical Friction. The temple fusion design and the Historical Friction fusion design aren't exact matches, but the fusion from Historical Friction was just a cutout made by Stephen and Jamie, so it could have had a few errors if it was meant to be based off of Garnet, Amethyst, Pearl, and Rose's fusion. The temple in this illustration is shades of grey and pink, and in Greg's storage unit, we can see a grey and pink part of a totem pole. Just like the temple, this totem pole has more than two arms. It has plump lips like the temple, this nose part like the temple, eyes shaped like the temples, and curly pink hair like the temples and roses. It is also holding a pink shield like Rose or Stevens, and a sword. The temple fusion's weapon is a sword, which was a weapon of roses. Not only do we see the totem pole version of the temple holding a sword, but when Lapis took the ocean away, we could see this. A giant stone sword just lying there. A glimpse of it could be seen in Bubble Buddies too. The sword's guard is shaped like hands, which make you think of Garnet's gauntlets. It has this triangle design on it like Rose's shield does, and it's a sharp precise weapon like Pearl's spear. Both Pearl and Rose are good at sword fighting. The only thing it seems to be lacking is a part of Amethyst's whip. Now let's move on to things about the temple which aren't necessarily related to it being a fusion. Some of the temple's hands are in this position around Rose's gem. This hand position is said to release misunderstanding slash hatred. It allows clear communication and creativity in relationships. Relationships. This was what Garnet used to help Stevani. It calmed both Stephen and Connie. Inside of the temple, it is very complex. Each crystal gem that lives there has their own room. Each room is customized by its owner. They can access their rooms by using their gemstones. However, there are other ways to get to each other's rooms. Gems can create new places in the temple. They did this in the episode The Test. Fusions also get their own rooms, but the fusion has to be fused at the time in order to access them. Otherwise, the room will be broken apart like the fusion is. It exists as long as I exist. The temple has a specific room for keeping bubble gems. It is accessed with Garnet's gemstones, but it is unclear if it is actually her room. The burning room isn't really a place to stay in unless you were a bubble gem. Garnet is a fusion, following the logic of Sardonyx's room. When Garnet breaks apart, that room does too. In which case, what happens with the bubble gems? It seems more like this room is an add-on room, like the rooms from the test, rather than a fusion room. Besides, it's called the burning room rather than Garnet's room. The temple's interior is very odd. At first, 
the explanation for it was magic. But now that we've seen what sort of technology Homeworld has, we can tell that the temple works with advanced gem tech, not just magic. Homeworld ships are powered by these cores. The crystal gems' this temple is powered by a heart. Both of these things look very similar and work in the same way. But anyway, those were just a few things I wanted to discuss about the temple. So thanks for watching and keep Beach City weird. Magic.